Well, good morning, guys. I'm just letting you know right now, this is reality TV in its finest. <laughs> I had no plans of videoing this morning. In fact, I had no plans of even coming out in the garden to do anything this morning because we all had a really rough night of sleep. We're all so tired. Oh, there's another one. And uh, I was gonna come out and let the chickens and the ducks out and go back in and I don't know, have a cup of coffee and relax. But man, there was just so much going on out here. I couldn't resist. There were zucchini to be harvested. Then I found myself in the onion patch and I pulled a bunch of onions up. Then I found myself over here checking out the cabbages and my cabbages, several of them are ready. Most of them are ready. Um, so I am harvesting some cabbages today, which I'm really excited about. And then I pulled some beets up and some turnips. I'll show you all this in a minute. And I had Caesar. Cesar Romeo, our little orange kitty. He was helping me in the garden today with his bestie Cleo, wherever she went. Um, so yeah, there was a lot of stuff going on. There's still a ton more to be harvest, uh, harvested, including potatoes. There were literally potatoes coming out of the ground over here and I'll show you in a second. So once my kids are all up and feeling chipper, we're going to, uh, we're gonna try to come out here and harvest some more. But let me show you what I've gotten so far. So, so far this morning, I have harvested some turnips and baby beets. Aren't those beautiful? Oh, I just think they're so pretty. Uh, we've steadily been harvesting um, turnips this year. Um, and this is something that I haven't grown too regularly in the past. So that's been fun. And I'm gonna start making some of these recipes here in the next day or so. And then our beets didn't do as good as they've done in the past. So I just pulled a lot of these. Um, as baby beets um, because I didn't want them to bolt, but I am going to do a whole nother planting here in the next month uh, for the fall garden. I think they'll do much better. And this was exciting. Uh, I have tried growing onions in the past with very minimal success. I usually just get like the spring onions. And even this year, I didn't have as much success as I, as I was hoping because the weeds really took over that garden bed. But that being said, um, I am harvesting some really nice onions and there's still more over there. So that's fun. Now in the future, I wanna do a heck of a lot more than this. What? I know, leave it, don't pull that one. I'm gonna use that one for seeds, okay? Um, <coughs> so even just to get this many is exciting, but you know, we'll use this in a month's time. Um, so I'd like to be able to grow enough onions to last us through the winter. Um, like I did with my garlic last year. My garlic harvest last year was amazing. And I didn't get such a great harvest this year, again, because of the weeds. But hindsight 2020, I'll know what to do this next season to get a better harvest. And we'll probably have a whole entire patch dedicated to garlic and onions. But this is a pretty good start. And I just pulled some more uh, squash off this morning. Really, start, The squash harvest is really starting to come in. These are the Costada Romanesco, Romanesca. Uh, zucchinis and my absolute favorite uh these green patty pans i love love patty pan squash and i was hoping to uh, use these flowers to make some squash blossoms but they've gotten a little um torn up just in trying to get all this stuff in here so that's okay and then now we're gonna go get us some cabbages I love cats can i just say i love cats they don't find any space to crawl into and make their own and I have found these guys and our other two little ones in my harvest baskets on a regular basis. <laughs> I guess they want to be harvested once you put Caesar in there with her. Oh, they're so cute. So we cute. love you, our little garden cats. And then it'll go check out these beauties. Love me some zinnias. I planted all kinds of zinnias this year and these are the first ones to really get going with the blooms. Oh, look at this color. Yeah, those are bachelor buttons. Look at that color. Oh man. Can you move your hands or something? Actually, that's fine. Hi, Caesar. So these are looking I beautiful. Like Lots of flowers coming in. The bachelor buttons are starting to come in. And my Gonzania flowers over here are coming in. I'll show you those in a second. Look at that color. Ah, so pretty. These 
These are the Gonzania flowers, if I'm even saying that correctly. And they are so pretty. Um, I'm hoping there's other colors than orange, but I will say that this orange color is really popping in the garden next to all these greens and pinks. So a really cool flower. Um, not as many grew as I had hoped, but that's okay. I'm still excited to have these in here. There's some other zinnias. This is where I've been harvesting uh, the turnips and the beets. And we got all these carrots. We've already harvested some carrots, but we have some more growing in here. Um, these are the rest of the turnips that we've yet to pull. I'm gonna give them a little bit more time. Uh, and then these carrots should really continue to grow and get nice and big. Obviously you see some lettuces in here. So we've been harvesting from that. And then over here, this lettuce, these lettuces are looking beautiful. And I've been coming out here on a daily basis to get lettuce for dinner and lunch. Um, there's some oak leaf lettuces and some arugula and not arugula, endives, all kinds of really fun lettuce in, in there that we've been using. Here is what I wanted to show you. These look so small, it's from this vantage point, but these babies are huge. My first cabbages. Um, you can generally cut these off at the, at the stem without having to pull. But I didn't have a knife or anything to cut it, so I just pulled up the root ball um, and pulled off some of the outer leaves that um, didn't look so great, like this one can come off. It's obviously been eaten by a caterpillar. Uh, but I'm gonna take these over. I'm gonna take these over and rinse them off at our um, hose, and then we'll take them inside and start harvesting them. I know, we're gonna rinse them off. Every year. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna rinse them off over at the hose. There's another one, this has got cat caterpillar poop on the inside, so we're definitely gonna wanna clean that out. Can you grab those other ones? That's just lovely. Yeah, it's just part of real gardening, folks. Caterpillar poop. Here, let's put that, set that right in there. Okay, put the, yep, the root ball down. Yep. Look at that beauty. And one more. Oh, okay. Here, set that right in here. Oh, that's none. Isn't that pretty? Look how big that is. It looks small, but it's as big as my hand. And as I've mentioned, I have rather large hands, so. Now some of these leaves are damaged, but the inside part of the cabbage is nice. Okay, there they are. And then I'll show you the potatoes. Look at that. So fun. Cats amok. <laughs> They're so funny. Nettie, come here. Let me show you what I found this morning. The garden thing. Look at our corn, looking good, but that's not what I'm gonna show you. Come down, come down, come down. What do you see? Potatoes! Potatoes, look at that. They're sitting above the ground. <laughs> and that's huge. Just well, these are baby potatoes. Oh, baby potatoes, but yeah. yeah, look at all those. And so, this is what we'll be harvesting today. We're gonna pull out some of these. The leaves aren't dying though. I know, these will be like new potatoes, but you can see there is some some yellowing leaves here, which is normal. Uh -huh. uh, but we're gonna come out and pull some of these plants and then be able to have some new potatoes to eat. And then it'll give the other plants room to grow bigger potatoes. Look at all those. Let's just pull one out for a heck of it. Okay, can I pull out this one? Here, no, 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 you don't pull out the potato, you pull out the plant oh. like this. Okay, now we shake it. Oh, wait, there's a big one. Look at that. Nice. So we have all these. Oh, there's two plants here. So look. And there's probably some down in here. Yeah. Feed it to the chickens. Chickens. Yes. Do we see, there's other little potatoes that would have continued to grow. I could probably even put that back in the ground. But we have some. Oh, well, we like worms, but. The, the Just put them back in the dirt. We like worms. Yeah. Worms are good. Put them in there. Oh, another the worm. Yeah, okay. it's good. We want the worms. We want worms. Wait, there's more potatoes. More kitty little potatoes. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's fun. Now, see these are here. These are yellowing. Oh, can you so pull it? We can pull those up. Oh, okay. There they are. 
Look down in there. Oh, it dropped. Cool. Good one. This is a, this was one of my kids and I's favorite, favorite uh, harvest activities were getting potatoes. I think they just like to get <laughs> dirty. <laughs> is there any more in there? Here, I have a glove on. What's all that piece? <laughs> oh, there's one. A bit one, I think. This is not the ideal way to do this. We're just kind of having fun in the garden this morning. I, I don't care if I'm doing it. I'm just going to take it. All right. <laughs> we'll start there. Okay. That's a good start. Potatoes that we can come in here and harvest. You can see how they're kind of starting to yellow down there. The tops are still green, so they have a little wait, a little longer to go. But I think if we harvest like maybe every other plant here, it'll allow room for the uh, other potato plants to get much bigger. Um, so that's kind of the goal. So we'll just come in here and harvest maybe every other or whatever ones are looking kind of piddly. So. And if you're curious about how to know if a um, cabbage is ripe yet or ready to go, you just put your hand down here and you fill the head. And if it's hard, then you can harvest it. Like this one is actually hard. It would probably get a little bigger. And since it's looking healthy, I might let it go a little bit longer since I don't need it right now. Um, but if it rains, if it gets a really big rain, it could split, which I don't think this will do that. But you just put it here and squeeze. And if it's hard, it's, it's ready. If it's kind of soft and squishy like this one is, this one is not ready. Let me see. It's hard. Yep, that one's hard. This one's squishy. squishy. I don't know. This one's a baby. That one's definitely not ready. This one's definitely getting hard. So that's how you tell if a cabbage is ready. Now something else that we love to do as a family, if you see all these really pretty flowers, I love to let radishes um, bur burst, bolt, and flower. They're so pretty and whimsical in a garden, and they actually do deter some pests um especially when planted next to cucumbers and squash plants and melons and cantaloupe um they're really good to be planted and let go to seed like this because of whatever perfume they send out but what we love to do is come in here and harvest these radish pods i love radish pods this is where the seeds will be and so we won't harvest all of them so that we can collect seeds for next year but they put off so many pods can i eat it oh yeah you can definitely eat it and it has a very mild radish flavor so if you're not a fan of radishes let them go to seed and harvest these little pods they're so tasty and crunchy mm -hmm. they're one of our favorite things to eat they love them oh no my tail went dry. And then of course you can save the seeds for next year. So we're letting these go and then I'll come in here and harvest pods once they've dried up. harvest for the day and we're maybe halfway done <laughs> we have more to go but it is a we're hot we're tired so we're taking a break we're gonna lay these out on our table thanks for your help and uh, let them start to dry a little bit some of them we'll just take inside uh, eventually and just eat them fresh but uh, some of these we'll be able to to dry and cure watch out baby don't end up room silly <laughs> hey, watch that jar. Watch that jar. We're gonna let, we're gonna put them on this table over here to kind of dry for a couple of days. This is one of my curing tables. I've got my onions on here already, so the onions and garlic, potatoes will go to dry out um, before we store them. Which is okay. 